Today is the last day to register if you plan on voting in the Kentucky primary election this year. So for today's What's Up question, we're asking, why does Kentucky elect its governor in odd numbered years when most state elections happen in even numbered years? The answer, because some old dead guy said so. With your What's Up, I'm Rob Harris. Back to you in the studio. Oh, we, we have another minute to fill? Okay, then let's dive into the effect of holding elections in odd years. See, they bring out way fewer voters. I mean, way fewer. Take a look at counties here in our area. Jefferson County had more than 61% voter turnout in the 2016 election. In 2015, it was just over 34%. Bullock County, Carroll County, Oldham County, it's all the same story. Now it is true the presidential elections bring out more people, but you should know that even 2014 saw higher numbers than the odd numbered year election that followed it. Many advocates for switching to even years point to cost saving potential of consolidating elections too. So why are we still on odd years? Well, there have been some attempts to change it, as recently as last year in fact, but it requires a change to the state constitution. And there are political reasons that change is slow. Political scientists will point out that odd year elections can be good for minority parties since people tend to sit them out. And there's a belief by some that it's good to keep local issues distinct from the arguing that happens at the federal level. By the way, if you have a question bugging you and you want to find out what's up, just hit me up on Facebook or Twitter, at Rob Harris TV. All right, so while we chat, we want to let you guys know we're asking you this morning the question is what? If you're going to vote in the primary or just the ele uh, the general election, Right. 94% yeah. of you guys are saying uh, you're going to vote in the primary. That's <laughs> impressive. Me. That is. I mean, I will say that if you're up this early, maybe you're just a go-getter yeah. and you're going to vote. <laughs> you're like, I'm going to do it. But I mean, if you register, you may as well vote. Every vote counts. So. Definitely valid. And you know, this is such a big topic really across the nation because among Western democracies, American voter turnout is just low in general. Yeah. I mean, the 60% that we were seeing there, which is our high number, would not be high in a lot of other places. So no. this is a topic, you know, I studied political science in college and so many people in many different places are trying yeah. to figure out how to get these numbers up. And when you have a lot of elections in, you know, different years at different times, it gets confusing and overwhelming for people. So good point. Important, important topic. But in the meantime, register to vote because today is your last day if you're going to uh, vote in the primary. Yeah, and vote on our question too <laughs> yeah. with WHAS11 app.